Hey, this is Swires, and I am with Bam, and uh, we are going to do our first ever uh, year in review awards show, and this is actually the nomination section. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm including everything that's been released on the one so far because it did come out in, in November. So, so it was sort of like a year and a month and a half. Yeah, a year and a month and a half review. Uh, best. Yeah, of. I mean there. Yeah, there, you may as well. There's only there's only a month and a half to go, and there was there wasn't that many amazing games at launch, but there was enough that yeah. it's, it's fair enough to put it into the category. Obviously, there was enough that out, I wanted to include it. Yeah, and if we do this, you know, for the next twenty years, because the site's gonna be awesome and huge by then, well, yeah, we won't ever sure do that again. Insane. It's just for it's just for, you know, it'll be yearly for sure after that. But yeah, for sureies, um, for sureies, for sureies. So first off, just some stats that I looked up. There have been 140, well, 142 U.S. launch titles, and then there was uh, or 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 Janini. I don't even know what what the fuck it's called. <laughs> Aniguri, Aniguri, which was a Japanese MMO that released for free. That I actually changed my system to Japanese to download and got one achievement <laughs> in. So technically. <laughs> I have 143 games I could have played. Um, I only did not play 36, of which six of those I actually have sitting here wrapped up. I just never got around to playing them. And then two more are Metro, which I just finished. Um, Metro Redux, uh, mm -hmm. which which was actually pretty pretty fun. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you played it too, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't play the second one. Just because right at that time period, by the time I was, that's what I was, when I was complaining about that, I was like, if only this game came out like a month earlier when June and July was the most like dry, boring time ever, like it always is. Because then half, as soon as I pretty much was on, like finishing up the first one, that's when the rush of fall insanity started. So, yeah. Yeah. So speaking of that, I did want to start there were a couple games that were pretty big and pretty popular that neither of us got around to playing um mm -hmm. so they won't be on this list so we're sorry if you think they are the absolute best games you've ever played in your life um but shadow mordor um assassin's creed unity which i i wanted to play but i refused to play with how many problems i've heard everyone yeah, has yeah, yeah. and watching yeah. video of things just exploding and people getting caught in walls <laughs> and just just complete bullshit that you're like how did you even release this, this is I, I saw a hilarious video of somebody of like he turns the corner and like a cutscene starts and like everybody doesn't have any skin all they have is like eyeballs and and like mouths and teeth they look like a skeleton but without any and it's just like the opposite of a skeleton i mean it's just like eyeballs and teeth and like you can see That's the hair awesome. coming through the other side just an invisible face yeah, so I mean that, that was just a hot mess, and then yeah. I didn't play. I played the crew beta, um, which actually looked fun, but I never got around to playing the game yet. And one of the reasons for that is because when you look at the achievement list, it's like ninety nine percent of doing things with like fifty people, and I don't have yeah, yeah. more than two friends. So <laughs> that I didn't. Online I wasn't gonna. Online. I wasn't. Gonna, yeah, that was online. And then the only other one was Alien Isolation, which actually I heard was really good. Um, and I did want to play it, and I just uh, never got around to it. Yeah, yeah. So there, there's, there's my preamble. Do you have any preamble you'd like to say um, to the folks? I mean, I think between, I think between you, you and I, we played the majority of the big ones. I missed out on a couple like that too. The ones that I want to go back. Wait, did you, um, did you include um, Shadow of Mortar? Did you mention that? Yeah, yeah. I said, I think I okay. said that first. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the one that I do think I'm gonna, I want to go back and play. There's a couple, I like January and that type of thing because January and February before a couple of the other big games come out because then you kind of get to catch up on some of them. So I'm excited yeah. to play games like um, Far Cry I missed out on. I'm going to keep oh, that. Oh, so I good. I game that already. I'm, so I'm good. game flying so good. so hopefully I'll be able to do that. So good. So good. So good. Um, and then Shadow of Mordor I'll probably catch up on and a couple ones like that. But for the most part, everything that I was excited about i got to play and end up liking or hating or semi enjoying or whatever Excellent. and and, and smash, smash bros, bros took up an insane amount of my time Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> That's what I, I love it that. i love it oh i'm so bad at pool we are playing pure pool uh 
uh, just nice, something nice to, slow -paced some, game. something beautiful to have on the screen because I'm not going to go around and uh, cut up like 900 videos so that we always are talking about what we're playing. <laughs> That's what we should do. Every time you can't nominate a game that you can't put in the system and show video of right then and there. We wouldn't have anything. <laughs> No. Okay, let's get in. We're going to do the um, genre categories first. Mm -hmm. um, so, adventure game. What are yeah. your nominations for best adventure game? All right. Um, adventure game. Actually, you go ahead and say your nominations first, and then I'll see if I have any like added to it or whatever. Okay, mine were Valiant Hearts, uh, yep. download only game that um, I thought was amazing wasn't very yes. long wasn't very complicated but had some good stories some good heart um looked yep. good and had some interesting puzzles so that's my first nomination yep my yep. second one and when i first started writing these down my first rule was going to be i wasn't going to do anything that was rehashed because i mean none of nothing that was rehashed was really like amazing changes you know yeah so yep. Yep. but Tomb Raider is probably one of my favorite games of uh, all time. So yeah, I'm and putting they it on. That, they did that remake right too, by the way. Yeah, they, and they, they made it. They, they made it pretty. Stuff with that. Right. Yeah, so I'm putting I'm putting that on. I'm yep, gonna try to fair, uh, combo you right here, and I did. Um, and then I'm putting this as everything together. And I never played any of these, and a lot of these are rehashes too. But there are some new stories. I'm putting this all in one category as. Everything Telltale Games made, which is <laughs> yeah, Tales exactly. from Borderlands, The Wolf <laughs> Among Us, Walking Dead Season 1 and 2, um, the Game of Thrones one. They're all pretty much the same game, and I don't yep. care. They're amazing fun. There's not, there's not terribly a lot of adventure to them. Um, if you played Walking Dead Season 1, there were some puzzles and stuff in that one. Um, I feel a lot yeah, of them have yeah. just kind of been uh, movies you're you're interacting with, yeah, but yeah. they're still they're still amazing fun, good humor, and I think they're all um, a little bit different. Um, and yeah, then and my I, I, and this could be a different topic for a different day. I'm a little concerned that they're gonna start burning. Oh, I scratched on that. That sucked. I'm starting to be a little concerned <laughs> they're gonna burn people out now though. Because I'm like, oh my god, yeah. Because they, they've like, already announced like, what are they? They're gonna have a Minecraft one. They already announced yeah, they're gonna have a ridiculous. Minecraft one this year. Like, all right, guys. All Minecraft, right. which has no, which they always are very adamant, like has no story. It's just it's Steve. He's doing stuff. Blah blah blah. Now they're gonna make a game out of it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but, and I will say, <laughs> I don't even watch Game of Thrones, and the Game of Thrones one angered me. But uh, that's that's a whole other thing. But overall, yeah. yeah. Um, they're, they're a lot of fun. And then my final one, and some of these categories are going to have more games than others, but my final one was D4, um, which is actually mm -hmm. January's game with gold. It's free right now, or it'll be free tomorrow. Um, okay. I, I was wondering what they're I didn't. I didn't look up on what it was yet. I was wondering yeah, what it was. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be D4, and it's just it's just a weird... Um, it's Japanese. It's just 100% yeah, Japanese, Japanese, right? It, well... Yes and no, and it kind of ends very Japanese. But, I mean, it's definitely weird. The guy, um, his wife is killed, and he gets shot in the head, and so it allows him to use mementos, things that people had to go back in time and revisit um, things that happened previously and yeah, affect yeah. them. And yeah, so it's just, yeah. it's it's cool because it goes back and forth, and there's some interesting characters. Um and I just thought I thought it was done really well, and it's a good story. And it's one of those games where the first time you play it, it's going to take you like, you know, twenty hours. You know, not twenty hours, not that long, but you know, like ten oh, wow. hours to do everything. And then like if you miss an achievement or something, oh my god, I can't believe I missed. It. If you miss an achievement again, the next time you go through, knowing what you're supposed to do, it'll take like two minutes. <laughs> yeah. But it's a lot of fun. But those are my nominations for adventure game of the year. You ever hear the game um, Caroline? Wait, I think it's what it's called. No, it's Caroline. I think that's what it is. Or shoot, what was it? Contrast. It with C. No, it's it's a Japanese game, and it just reminded me of it because it's story. -driven. Oh yeah, it's yeah, a guy yeah. Who like cheats on his girlfriend, and the girlfriend also the person he's cheating on has the exact same name as his girlfriend. I think it's Caroline or something like that. Uh, I don't yeah, know, that sounds familiar. It instantly reminded me of that game, even though they're not similar in many aspects, but just like the. 
the style of the story they're trying to tell and that kind of thing. Yep, yep. Yeah, that was you. You had a couple I didn't have because I didn't play quite as many. I didn't play D four, so I couldn't have that on it. But that was pretty much my list. And um, we're not really. Are we even going to mention who our like front runner is at the moment, or are we just mentioning in general? All I think we're just coming? we're just general. I mean, I think our enthusiasm. Okay, okay. So will... I, I'll, I'll try not to. I won't gush I'll over gush the one that I really want. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna say that's Valiant Heart. Yeah, perhaps that's the one I gave. Well, yeah, I, I think you. I gave it a nine. nine. Did yeah, I, did I give it a nine? It, nine? Yeah, yeah, you gave yeah. it a nine. Um, yep. Yep. Okay, RPG of the year. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I wasn't very impressed with RPGs this last no, year. No. I'm gonna start with a no that a lot of people thought was amazing, and that's Dragon Age Inquisition. Yeah, a lot of people were a big fan of that. I didn't get around to playing it. I've never been a Dragon Age fan, oh, but are. yeah, I here I've never been a Dragon Age fan for multiple reasons. Mostly for the reason that decisions you make early like destroy things, and then they have an achievement for doing something that you decided at level one, and that just pisses me off. But yeah. the reason <laughs> I hate Dragon Age Inquisition is because there are classes that just can't fucking do anything yeah when, yeah when i started it i picked i wanted to be a rogue and he just fucking drops dead whenever anyone looks at him i mean the purpose of the rogue in this game is to sneak up behind people and you know stab them in the back and blah 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 well your yeah, whole be, fucking be like party sneaky, yeah 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 your whole fucking party's dead before you get a chance to hit more than one person you're not like instant killing them. So you spend all this time sneaking around and just, it ruined my experience. And then you go online where the people are like, this is what, you know, pretty much people that are having fun are like, this game's easy because I min-max this one class. Um, that Which to me defeats the purpose of an RPG. If it's yeah. like one thing is the thing. It, it depends on the if it's a class-based RPG like that type of game is, then it's stupid and pointless when it's when there's, when there's, you know, one class or one type of thing that can just overpower and be, it gets boring and repetitive too. It's like, what's yeah. fun about just doing the same thing over and over and over again? Yeah, and I thought the graphics weren't very good. Um, there's a lot of just wandering around for no apparent reason, and I just I didn't find it enjoyable at all. I'm I'm about probably halfway, and it's just gotten to the point where it's tedious. Yeah. So, yeah. So I only had I had two nominations. One which I can guarantee is on your list. Which is Child of Light. Yep. <laughs> which which was which was an amazing game. A um, lot of new concepts with the timing ah, attacks shoot. and yeah, um, yeah. that type of stuff. And I thought it was really well done, really beautiful. Not very long. No, it was short. Um, it was short. It was short. That's probably my only real complaint with it is that it's really short. And it was like. Um, I oh, even had okay, that um, um, for for my uh, review. Um, I even had that as a con, even though I still gave the game a ten. So I, yeah. you know, I'm, admit, I'm admitting that you know that it is short on the shorter side. But for me, it just all of the good about it overpowered that you know. You know yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll things can have problems. Like, yeah, and I'm I've, I've never been uh you know oh uh, this game's short so it's not worth playing. Um, type person, but no, if it's, if it's there good, are a lot good. of games it, this year, and at that price point too. Like yeah. you know, you're not playing, you're not paying a sixty dollar game to do. It's not like you're paying a sixty dollar Call of Duty game and it has no online functions, and you're just paying for that seven hour of single player nonsense. That would yep. be stupid. Would be stupid. This is like yep. a ten fifteen dollar game that has about ten hours, fifteen hours. That's worth it. You're you're pretty much doing like a dollar an hour, and to me, that's there's nothing wrong nothing with that. Wrong with that. And I just everything from the Everything from the music, the music to the to visual the style, style to the writing, the writing style, style to all of those aspects just perfectly perfect built a world that's like 100% believable and fairy tale and like really, really unique in gaming. I haven't seen anything like that in, in gaming like that. And then on top of that, you know, the combat system is, I think, one of the most fun I've ever played in an RPG. And yeah, yeah, I just, I just, there are some weird falls. It was kind of strange that like literally every single match, you'd, oh, I can't believe I missed that shot. Every single that's match, exciting. somebody is like leveling up. <laughs> Literally yep. every single time. So like there are aspects of that, and that's kind of a part of it being. Oh. Like, like, like you know, yep. you know uh, fresh. But I mean, and I mean, the the only other overall, problem I had with it was once you figured out their system, you really couldn't lose. 
There wasn't yeah, yeah. a whole lot of challenge after that. Once you're like, okay, this is the timing. This is how long this is going to take. You can pretty much... You, oh, you oh, missed oh, it. Look at that shot. I'm like... Oh. I thought for sure... Well, I didn't snuff uh, you, though. Yeah, I oh, got it. Did you get out of that? Yeah, I got out of it. I almost got the combo, too. Um, yeah, so once you kind of figured it out, which was fine, because, I mean, that was intelligence. Um, the only yeah, other... Yeah. RPG that I played, and the only other one I'd really consider an RPG is I played. Um, I did play Costume Quest Two, uh, yeah, from yeah. Double Fine, which yeah, yeah. which is which is a lot of fun. Real basic, real simple game, um, but funny and you know it was just it was enjoyable. Yeah, my other here's my other one that I had as a nominee, um, and I don't know if you want to consider it because you're talking about whether you did or didn't like remake tape stuff or whatever. What about Diablo? Yeah, I would put it on just, uh, they did do some stuff and it was, did include the expansion. So yeah, I didn't even think about that, but yeah, I wouldn't, I would include right, so, um, Diablo. So that's, what is that? Four, if you're going to include costume quest too, that would be four different um, nominees for Well, three, because I'm not really nominating Dragon Age. I just was ranting about how much. Uh, okay, yeah, because it was so bad that we're not even Child of Light, that's yeah, that's Child of Light, costume quest two, Diablo three. And I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what else was, was there? Anything else even released that would be considered? Well, the Japanese one that I played for five seconds and couldn't figure out. I think that's about all the RPGs that are out. Yeah, There's I think it's a announced. really, really dry, really dry on RPG. I think next year's yeah. gonna be more. And if we're gonna have, gonna have one of our um, one of our nomination things later on, it will be talking about something that I want to be talking about, and that's The Witcher. That's an RPG that I'm just super duper stoked for. Like that is one of my most anticipated games. But if we talk about that as a topic, we'll talk about that yeah, later. Yeah. But that's an RPG that I can't. I just oh, that looks so good. Wow, you can actually hit, oh, you almost almost. I know. I almost still almost. It wouldn't have counted anyway because no. Well, I don't know. I think that I think a ball has to hit the rail after a cube. Oh uh, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Okay. Um, shooter. Shooter. This is a nice topic. Yeah, right, I have so... a lot of games. Yeah. In this yeah. this list, I'm gonna start with Titanfall. Yeah, um, yeah. I I still love that game, and it's a pure shooter. They didn't, there weren't. I mean, they put like you know the campaign in there. Um, yeah, but yeah, you're you're there, campaign, you're there to though. shoot people online. When they they did the title update eight, um, which they just did, which was pretty much end game stuff. You know, like oh, here's a bunch of stuff to have fun with. It's fun going into playing because it's just such a huge mix of people who are just hardcore lifers on Titanfall. And then all the people who got it because it was like just on sale for like twelve bucks. Yeah. Um, but I <laughs> still enjoy time it. It's just beautiful for games like Call of Duty and stuff like that yeah. too. Because yeah. So Titanfall, um, Far Cry Four, um, which you have not had a chance to no, play. But yet. I know. But I. But, but I'm 100 percent okay with that being a nominee. Yeah. I but know man, I. Yeah. I want to go on a spoiler-filled just. <laughs> crazy love fest on that game about cool. all the things let's, let's do that, that... <laughs> let's do that in like two weeks we'll have just yeah. a spoiler filled game because I'll, I'll have played it by then too so let's yeah because it's just oh my god it's so good so good um wolfenstein i don't know if you played wolfenstein that, that um, is another shooter type thing i didn't play and that was on sale and i was thinking about it but yeah i thought it was a lot of fun again not terribly long but just really well done good range of difficulty good range of guns and abilities and stuff and um god i just i really enjoyed it and i'm i played wolfenstein 3d you know the original original and yeah yeah, yeah. this was this was great um another one you didn't play you didn't play a lot of shooters this year i don't think you played uh, 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 sunset uh, uh, sunset overdrive um this was one you were really worried about too yeah, I was the reason why I never got gave it a chance, and maybe that'll be something that I'll do. Like I said, with January, February, like the catch up time period. Um, I don't know. It just didn't look. It looked like it was. I understand the. You know what it's. It looked like it was like. I understand. Okay, let me try to get this without like stuttering every two seconds here. Um, as I'm going to take the game winning shot. Yeah. Uh, it looked to me like I know it was a game that's like making fun of itself, being stupid and blah blah blah. But it didn't. I didn't. It just didn't taste right it didn't look like it was like trying too hard from like just watching the trailers and looking at the gameplay and i just thought it didn't look that much fun either just it looked like 
you're just running around. Like, it looked like, you yeah. know, here we are, another you, game with cool movement and cool craziness when, like, every game is talking about movement now, and I'm just already getting tired of it. Yeah. But, did did you, did you like or play Dead Rising 3, really? I mean, I know you played the other stuff. Oh, you almost just went off the break there. Um, yeah, I, was I mean, it was very Dead Rising 3 to me, and that, you know, it's over-the-top yeah. stuff. I, it is... It does get a little grating about how self-aware they are and how they're like, oh, we're a game, we're funny. You know, yeah, you, yeah, you get yeah. a little bit of that. I don't know if I'm going to hit my ball with this. Oh, my God, I just won off of this. Wait, what? Let me see this. Oh, my God, it comes all the way back and hits the nine. Oh, <laughs> wow, what a shot. <laughs> I mean, I was totally trying that. I'm yeah, awesome. that's that's exactly what I wanted to do. Anyway, so it, gets, it it does have a little bit where it's very over-the-top self-aware, and you're like, okay, yeah, you know you're a gay and blah, blah, blah. But I thought, yeah, yeah. oh, and I just went off the break. Um, you see, what the frick? What is happening right now? Slow down. <laughs> um, Jeez. But, man, lots of missions, lots of things to do. It does one thing I love when games have crazy collectibles, they don't have collectibles to sell strategy guides because the collectibles in this game, you actually turn in for abilities. So they yeah. call them collectibles, but you know, you need to do it to advance the story. Um, and they have maps, you buy a map and then it just shows you where they are. And so um, that I thought was great. And it, it was just, it was just a lot of fun. Yeah. And then um, my final game is plants versus zombies, which Oh, the, uh, okay, it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's on there because but I've had problems with it. I try I got into it in the last update again and it's it pisses me off because they just keep adding more and more characters. You know, that you have to get in the packs and then yeah. every pack the characters get stronger and stronger. So it just becomes a play, a thing where I'm like when it launched it was awesome because everything was all, you know, um balanced and stuff and now it's just like oh you don't have the ice cactus well you're just fucked yeah so it's, and I kinda it's disappointed me that. lately i was like i had a feeling that it was gonna be that type of game where they're gonna start to try to nickel and dime you and and make you play forever or, and i hate that kind of yeah. stuff it's like come on we don't need and to do that i don't even know if you i don't even know if they have microtransactions or if it's just they just want you to play a lot yeah i don't you know, know. I don't know. oh but no so cigars. It, it was it was a great game in its infancy and um, it's on there because I had a lot of fun with it. Did you have any other shooters? Uh, did you mention Did you mention Call of Duty? Oh my God, I have Call of Duty. Do I have Call of Duty as a to mention to say that I absolutely did not want it on there. <laughs> no, not at all. You don't not think it was at worth all. It. I mean, you. I mean, obviously, if you like it, you put it on there, but. It was, it's, it's probably one of the better Call of Duties um, in a while. Yeah, but I my problem is, is that I still always have to base it on like four, Call of Duty four. And yeah, so yeah. I, I can't make it, I can't make it a game of the year when it's not as good as something that was, you know, seven years yeah, ago. Yeah, something that, many yeah, I understand. Years ago. Yeah, I totally understand. And, I mean, and for, again, me, for it, me, as far as, as far as the multiplayer goes, oh, you it's, it's oh, <laughs> that was a funny shot. As far as multiplayer goes, yeah, nothing, yeah, nothing has touched nothing. Call of Duty 4. And then um, I think I'd put Modern Warfare 2 or um, Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 2 still ahead of it. And then I'd put this game. Yep. But, you know, that would be, you know, the fourth best out of the last eight or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, I, mean, um, I mean, it's still, it's still to me, me, way better than World at War, way better than Black Ops 1. Way better than Modern Warfare 3, and way better, way better than Ghost. Um, yeah. Um, but but yeah. So I mean, I did enjoy it, and it, it was a pleasant for me. That was kind of a pleasant surprise. I was kind of like starting to feel like I was getting burned out of, of Call of Duty, and you know, right now I haven't played it in a little while, but I'm. It feels like at any point I could just jump back in it and start playing it nonstop for another, you know, couple weeks, and then put it down again, and then start playing it again. It just feels. It's fun. It, it's. The oh no. <laughs> um, and and it it has, um, well you didn't one, lose. No, you don't lose on nine ball. On that. Oh, lame. Nine ball goes back on the table. Everything else stays. Okay. Um, but it had one again. It had one of the best campaigns. It wasn't long. 
I commend Advanced Warfare for finally having the campaign where they don't kill a main character every two missions. You actually oh, play. Spoiler. You actually play one guy the entire game. It's no, insane. No, Swagger, you're, you're lying. You cannot. That's yeah, it's, I don't that you. is insane for Call of Duty. For well, then you, a long when they time. broke the rule, it's the worst Call of Duty ever. They, you know, it's not a Call of Duty game anymore. You have yeah. to kill off the main character. Yeah. I mean, it was just getting ridiculous. You play a guy for like half a mission, and then it's like, oh my god, you're supposed to be so shocked they died. And you're like, I don't even know who the fuck this guy is. Hey, what was I've this just, guy's name again? <laughs> I've just been shooting people with him for a little bit, I guess. Okay. <laughs> um, sports. First one, this game right here, uh, Pure Pool. Very yeah, clean. That's a, good, that's a good one. Very clean. I mean, again, there's a lot of things it doesn't do, um, but. It, for what is it, ten bucks? It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. You just yeah, jump in, really nice you play pool. Uh, it's amazing. And it, it, and it's exactly what the name is. It's it's literally just playing pool, you know. And I yeah. um, I go down to North Carolina for Christmas, and there's a we, my aunt has a pool table, and we always have a whole lot of fun with it. And it, yeah, it was it was actually fun. I got to play this game, this game like on purpose for like three or four hours. The night before I left, and it totally like helped me like play better and be real game <laughs> once I got there because it's just it's so pure, it's so real, it's so accurate, accurate as far as just the physics of it and the feel of it. But yeah, it's close enough to pretty much be the real game. So yeah, the cool. only thing that it it doesn't do that I always want in a pool game is that ah, if a ball nice. is if a ball <laughs> if a ball is far away, a lot of pool games you can like click a button. And then it'll put all the the numbers just straight up yeah, on the board, yeah, 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 you yeah, know, yeah. which is really nice because sometimes you're like, is that, is that the, um, yeah, is that the two five, or the is four? That the, the you know, or, yeah, yeah. Also, ah. also when you stand up, that's like the only option. It's just like God, uh, I got another oh. bullet, but I've scratched. <laughs> yeah, when you stand up, I hate that it, it um. It That's resets like where your option. queue is. Yeah, it resets where only, your queue is too. I don't know why you can't just kind of like get up and kind of circle the, the the table to look at different angles of stuff. It's kind of dumb yeah. that you're like stuck in one angle, but you know, yeah. it's a couple complaints for overall. I think a pretty pretty solid game. Yeah. So what else so do we gonna, have for sports? Are we? Are, I'm we gonna, so we are including um last year's stuff, so I can put in um. Yep. 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 Put in you Power put Star in. Golf. Yep. Yes, you love that game so much. So talk about it. Tell us about Power Star Golf. Okay, Power Star Golf, I think, is my my pick for one of my favorite pool games ever. I really like in, in, in a lot of different golf, I just, golf games. Okay. For a lot of different genres of games, I really like when there's a really good mix of um of oh okay, good, I thought I scratched it. <sighs> of realism and then also like cartooniness or you know, just a a mix of realism and um fantasy type stuff so yep. it might be a game like um way back excite bike 64 which was the like the sequel to like the excite bike games in the nes it was you know this dirt bike game that you know had was really realistic and you can pick different bikes that had like different racers that were good at speed or different jumping or different you know different aspects of the game so it was a simulator at the same time you know there's levels where i'm um, jumping over a train at like you know seven like you know 50, 100 feet off the air, you know, and like, yep. or jumping canyons and stuff. So it's like fun. Those type of games are always fun when there's a, a simulator t side to it and a fantasy side to it. And for me, that, that's what Power Star Golf was. It was like, there's best, and for me, pretty much one of the best physics in golf game that I've ever played. And then there was still elements that were really, um, you know, you could, it, it just was fun to, for, to have the different things like the slow down time if you were the Asian dude or like a yeah. power shot, if you were the other guy, those type of things. I like when it has Frank. a really good mix of that. It doesn't get boring if it's super, super simulator. I, I absolutely love that game. My, I, I, I thought it was a fantastic game too. And I had two I issues with it. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. Two issues with it. It ramped up the difficulty to just insanity. Yeah. For mm -hmm. no reason. I mean, it just went nutso on the last courses. Where it was just, yeah, yeah. it was more luck based than yeah, skill based. Yeah, hundred percent in that game was a pain in the butt. I played that yeah. game so many times, and it's just, and it was like 
you could play you could be playing a pretty much a perfect game. You could be getting like birdie, par, birdie, par, par, eagle, and then like one single bogey, and the the computer is going to beat you by like three or four. And yep. it's just it was super hard. There was one challenge that I'll always remember when I was playing the guy who could combo for the win. Oh, it's gonna uh, work. Because it's gonna work. he could. He the guy the Chinese guy who could um, stop it right away. Yeah. Yep. And there was one where yep. we had to play par threes, and every single time he get oh, a hole in one. I know what you're talking about. I know every talking about. Yep. single yep. time he get a hole in one. So it was just complete fucking bullshit because you had to. Not only you had to beat him, but you had to have less putts than him, and he's already had a hole in one on one hole. It was just it was a combo of bullshit. And my other thing was that the money was so scarce. It took so yeah. many matches to buy a pack of cards. I yep. I never even got the um Oh, there's a wind. I never even got like the have a complete set of something because it took so many stupid matches to <laughs> yeah. to do it that it's like I never I, even I, got stuff. I did I did drain a couple of dollars into that one. I did micromanage that game a little bit. Cause for that reason, I, I was at one point where I had, after playing the game for, like, so many hours, so many hours, I still didn't have, like, I forget what it was. Maybe it was, like, a driver, or maybe it was, like, a wedge or something. I still didn't ha I had, like, you know, 100 different sets of, like, putters and 100 different sets of, like, drivers. But I, like, was still using, like, the dumb rookie wedges that were, like, yeah, the worst yep. in the world. And I was just like, come on. So then I finally put, like, 10, 15 bucks into buying um, some, like, of the in-game money to get some packs. But, yeah, that was a little annoying part. And then your other thing is going to be the multiplayer part of it, right? Yeah, yeah. That, Which has, for some reason, been the problem of all golf games is that you just, you can't just play with people. Yeah. It's all just images of them being there. You can't be like, oh, you know, nice shot there, jackass, you know. They already did yeah, it like four days the, ago. That's the fun part about it. Yep. yep. It's fun to just jump oh, on. The, the, you know, the same thing as real pool to jump. You know, yeah, it would be it would awesome be just awesome. to jump on and play with two or three, four other guys and make fun of each other yeah. for missing terrible shots or or like that know, one right or, there. Or, yep. Exactly. Or getting ridiculously lucky with something, something, you know, and then yep. just laughing about it. Like that's that's the fun part about it. So we're we're not doing a separate racing, so we're going to include racing as a sport. Yeah, that's fine. That's so. I want to preface with how much I hated Forza Motorsports 5. Mm -hmm. And people just... They're insane in love with that game. <laughs> and I hated it for the reason that, I, one, I don't really care if I'm driving the 2005 BMW versus the 2007, which a yeah, lot of people just fucking shit their pants on the difference. Um, in a video game, no matter. No less, yeah, in a no video less, game, so no less. Like, oh my god, the handling is so much better. I can't even begin to talk to you about the handling of this. And it's like, fuck. You. <laughs> so the whole game comes down to playing the same seven fucking races 900 million times because you have to do it with every car type. And it's just like, oh my god, it just comes so tedious it's the most tedious thing i've ever played in my life and they don't even like they don't even do anything cool like um you know this race is only three laps so you got to go you know really strategic or this race is like a super race you know it's all the same it's always three laps of this course maybe you're doing it backwards otherwise it's exactly the same and it's just which, oh. which since since the dawn of them doing that way back in like mario kart that's always been everybody's favorite thing to like add fake replayability. Oh, we're yeah. mirror moding it. Now you're doing the race backwards. Isn't that really cool? No, it's not. Can I actually play in a new area? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's not cool at all. And I understand that they're limited because they're real race tracks, but oh my God, it's just the amount of races they want you to race in that game versus how tedious it is just blew my yeah. mind. Yeah. So that brings me to the complete opposite, which is Horizons 2, which I almost didn't buy because it was a Forza game, and it is just so much fun because it's all just, it's cross-country, it's just made-up tracks, you can do whatever the hell you want, um, there's all kinds of activities that you're doing too, races, that kind of stuff, besides just the normal races, it's just, oh, it's just such a yeah. better game, and there I'm leaving you an easy.
<laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it looks a lot better. I'm definitely down for for picking up, you know, in the next month or so just to play. But yeah, it, it, overall, everything I saw and heard and everything you said, it just looked really good, really pretty. And that's the type of game I like where you're not stuck in like this specific racetrack where you can't even do anything. Ah, oh, I missed a shot. It's like, you know, it gives you freedom to, to kind of, you know, go off track at points and all that kind of stuff. And yep. Yeah. And it's cool because you can kind of, you can tell the people who come to that game, you know, from Forza. Um, because in between races, you actually race to the next race. Yeah. And like, there's no rules. I mean, you could just go across the field. There's all these people sticking to the roads and shit. And you'll always win because you're just like. I'm just going to go through that cornfield there and uh, get there in about two seconds. That's awesome. Yeah. Yay, victory. So um, what, and did that, is that all you had for sports? Did you have any more? That's all I had then was not all the EA cookie cutter crap was what my next note was. Um, <laughs> not all of that, you said? Yeah, not all of that. And they're fine yeah, games. Yeah. Madden's a fine game. FIFA's a fine game. NHL was fun when we played it. It's just... They're the same games. They're the same thing every year. Yep. 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 I agree. Yeah, I was going to think about Madden because I thought it was one of the better ones for a while, but I still think you know it doesn't it doesn't really hold up to to the new stuff. Yeah, to like the originality of some like Power Star. You know, maybe it could have won. It probably could have won um, without including Power Star, just because there really wasn't that much. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, okay, so that's that was our main genres we wanted to do. Um, and then we had a couple uh, just best story. Yeah. For me, best story. Actually, for me, best story and best graphics are the same for me, uh, which is Far Cry 4, um, which you'll have to play, which is just, I think it's awesome. And then, yeah, yeah. And then the reason that I wanted to include launch titles is because I think Rise is probably the most beautiful game on Xbox One. And the story's great, and it actually has a story. Um, so wait, what, what's your... So what are the what are the nominees for story, then? You're saying um, Rise stories, and, and... Far um, Cry 4 is all, is all I have, really, for story. And then I made a note to say, not Destiny, because they don't fucking know how to write a story. <laughs> I was gonna... Oh, look at that scratch. That was beautiful. I was gonna have for story. You can, yeah. You know, I didn't play either of those games, but I was gonna yeah. have for story. Um, um, uh, Valiant Hearts and Child of Light were my two big ones. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. They were, they were, yeah. They're good stories too, and they're also beautiful for graphics. Yeah, yeah, and graphics. Yeah. If we're, yeah. So if we're talking story, what is it? Is it those four that you just mentioned? Yeah, yeah. the two that I mentioned and the two that you mentioned for for story. And then for graphics, yeah, if you want to literally do the exact same thing, that would probably be pretty good. What else is there? I mean, Destiny was pretty at 10 points, and then it was really repetitive, and the good looks about it got so repetitive that it's not even good looking anymore. Yeah, that it just... Uh, we'll get we'll get to Destiny. And then, um, you know, and then, yeah, I'd say... And yeah, as far as graphics go, I think Child of Light was gorgeous. Um, Valiant Hearts was gorgeous. Um... I can go for a win right here. Oh, oh I must have scratched. Yeah, I did. You scratched. <laughs> um, yeah, yep. Okay, so now it's time for some of the fun categories we came up with. Um, my, um, my first category is most rage-inducing game. <laughs> and it, most of these happened in uh this last month actually yeah one, my first one is duck dynasty <laughs> which i'm i'm in a year-long challenge with so against well it's against a lot of people but really it's down to me and one other guy and so i just needed to score some points so i played this and on its own the game itself is actually not horrible um not they horrible. do their own not horrible they do their own voices it's not a great game you're literally just shooting ducks and like seven million of them, right? <laughs> yeah, and then you do some fishing, and then you do some weird stealth stuff in the warehouse that they threw. It's it's weird, but what was rage inducing for me is that they included these this retarded swamp boat racing section. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's an achievement for winning a swamp boat race without hitting or getting hit by any of the other drivers. And the problem with this is that the other drivers are all on rails. Meaning your swamp boat actually is like, you know, an airboat where like you have to glide into turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you have to, you slow down as you, you know, slide into a turn where they're 100% on rails. They just, <laughs> so they're just going, they just, they're going a billion miles an hour. They're going time. a billion miles an hour through everything. And again, that wouldn't even be bad, but it's got the absolute worst rubber banding of any fucking game in the history of the world. <laughs> if you take even the slightest lead, they come barreling at your asshole at like 900 miles an hour. <laughs> and again, every turn you take, you have to slow and man maneuver the turns, whereas they're just like, you know, on their rails. Um, so literally the so only way to win it is to be in last place for the whole game the whole race, and then just get a miracle stretch where you can kind of take a lead. Yeah. yeah. And, oh, my God. It was like, I was ready. I was ready to break a controller. I haven't broken a controller in a long time, and I was ready to break a controller over it. <laughs> Do you have any other nominees? Yeah, I've got two more fantastic nominees. Well, and then another baseball. game I played um, to, uh, to get gamer score was uh, The Legend of Korra. Oh, um, that looks so bad. I saw it, videos of that. It looks oh so God. bad. Which actually so, pause real quick. What's the okay. what's the name the developer's name of that game? Oh shoot, what is it? Um, um Platinum, Platinum Games. Games. Message to everybody who thinks Platinum Games is, is some god developer. I can't stand that people think that. They haven't yeah. made like a great game in a while. They make good games here and there, but they have made a bunch of like just awful games. People are like, oh yeah. Great, Platinum Games is making the Legend of Korra game, so that game's gonna be great. And I was like, oh, they haven't made a good game in forever, and I guarantee you that game's gonna be terrible. And it is. Yeah. And I don't it know is. why people it's... like just think that Platinum Games is just like the most amazing developer there is. And, and what is horrible about it is that, you know, it's obviously it's all based on the airbending. If you've ever seen Air Avatar or whatever. Yeah. And, yep. Yep. And so you fight about a million morons who they'd have to get super lucky to do any damage on you and then after like five levels you go into these bosses that one hit kill you and take like six minutes to win it's just a clusterfuck of having to perfectly dodge and counter attacks and it's like it goes from just like oh just a nice casual park to just rage inducing there's there's one thing where you're on the dog and you're fighting three giant mechs, all of who one hit kill you straight up. It's one hit kill. If they touch you, you die. And you have to beat three of them, and all of your abilities are gone too because you're actually quote unquote playing as the dog. That was a nice, nice bank. And it's just, oh my god! I was literally, it was like 2 a.m., and I'm like, if I don't beat this battle in the next <laughs> three minutes. I'm going to delete this from my hard drive and just believe it never existed. And, like, I beat it. Like, And then the whole rest of the game is just simple as fuck. Because you start, like, <laughs> you get so massively powered up. Like, normal. Playing normal was harder than playing extreme. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I wonder if I'm going to make this shot. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh, I won. And then my final one um, is Amazing Spider-Man 2, which they made the web slinging like 900 million miles an hour. And you have all these collectibles and stuff that you have to, you know, get get him, get Spider-Man to land on this one tower here, and he's just flinging around the screen like a fucking psychopath. <laughs> and it's just insane. It just go. There was... There was one mini game that you had to do um, where you had to save people from a burning building. And just yeah, trying to yeah. navigate him into the windows, and this was timed. So you had to navigate him into the windows so he could get in there and get him and then drop him off and go back up. There were there was like one building that was like half collapsed, so you just walked in there and got him. 
every other building, I literally just sat there until they burned to death. You couldn't leave. <laughs> you couldn't leave the uh, mini game until it was done. So Spider Man literally sat on the building across the way and watched them all burn to death. <laughs> Ugh, so those are mine. Those are mine. I actually had to think. I'm still trying to think about some. Like, I know there were so many moments where I just wanted to, like, scream and cry. And for some reason, I can't think of any. And this is this is the topic that you just mentioned, like, yeah, yeah. recently. So I wasn't, I didn't have much time to think about it. But I'm trying to think. Um, I mean... I thought you were gonna mention for you anyway. I thought you were gonna mention um, the 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 drinking game from um, what's it called? Oh my god! I didn't even think about that. Yeah, and that pissed that, and that pit from Watch I don't Dogs. I've never heard you scream so much. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm adding that right now. And the thing that's funny is like anyone who just picked it up is gonna be like, I don't even know what you're talking about because that's really yeah, funny. like me because I cause they, I totally like I played it a bunch and like hated it, but I was like, all right, all right I still have a whole bunch of other achievements to go and literally like i was playing that game pretty much non-stop other than like titanfall with you you uh when, it, when we played together i was playing that game like non-stop for a whole like you know two three weeks to get all the achievements because it's a really big game in that way and then sure enough like the day before i only had one achievement left which was the drinking game that's when they updated it and i was like thank you i appreciate it that that update had probably the best achievement notes not achievement notes but patch notes of any game i've ever read the patch notes for because it was just like made this 90 percent easier made this 85 percent easier made this 4 million percent easier <laughs> it was like complete bullshit it was like they were they didn't even like just kind of casually like make it a little easier it's like they completely changed the dynamic of the game oh my god are you kidding me <laughs> get under there snooker uh, but I mean, it just, they just, it went from just, just the most impossible thing. I almost wanted to go back and start it up and just see what the change was. Yeah. Yeah. Just see how much easier it was. But I mean, I spent, tell you, it was, it was very easy. I spent, <laughs> I spent weeks. Ah, oh, back to that completely. Weeks on that. Yeah. We, we would just be in a party and there would be silence for two, three minutes. And I knew you'd be getting close. And then all of a sudden, you would just start, like, screaming and cursing and yelling. And I'm like, uh-oh, I guess it is. <laughs> God, it made me so mad. Oh, now it's, now it's a... I thought I knew exactly what it was going to be, but now remembering that, that pretty much... That's, that's got to... That's going to be tough. That's going to be a tough call now. Oh, and Swaggers takes the lead! <laughs> okay. Worst game on the Xbox One. Okay, My, just, this is just straight up terrible game. This isn't terrible game. Any, yeah, yep, yep. Can't right, stand right, playing right. it. My worst game is RBI Baseball. Um, I have one nomination: RBI Baseball. It's it's, oh, it's so stupid. This is this is my problem with most indie games, and this wasn't indie because it was like thirty bucks or some absurd price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was absolutely ridiculous, and. Their whole thing, they even pretty much said was like, yeah, we're we're you know we're pretty much an indie, we're making a classic game. They they just made a pile of shit is what they made. They, there's no difficulty settings, there's no AI settings, there's no way to play with anyone else except Couch. This they said there was going to be multiplayer since day one. It's now a year later, and there's you know they're never going. Oh, that's awesome. Um, never going to be anything else. The challenges are stupid. The achievements are stupid. <laughs> it's so fucking random. And it, there's, I think there's like two pitches in the game. You're pretty much fastball or a slow ball. And then there's all this stuff for striking people out, which you just can't do because you really have no variety. Yeah. It was just, yeah. oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. I almost went you, back what did you and give, What did you give that game? I think I gave that game a two. I gave it a two or a three out of ten. It is the lowest rated game. Thank you. And then the next lowest is um is the golf club. Yes. 
God, I, that's a game I want to be so good. I know, and it I mean, could you know, be so good. We are, we are the first and second people. To yeah, ever first and second person so in the world to finish it, and we hate it. <laughs> and we hate it. Maybe that's. Oh, why tell I me I hit that hard enough. Tell me I hit that hard enough. Oh, you fucker! Yeah, <laughs> oh, god. Yeah. Yeah, my so, list, my, my for my for worst my games, worst. I would have um for that I played, I would have the golf club, and chariot would be my two worst games. But I, you know, I didn't yeah, even I didn't play RBI baseball. But those would be yeah, my. Yeah, and two don't games. ever do it. And I, and I almost, Char- I the almost. Thing about, went the thing to about play chariot it is that it wasn't even that that terrible of a game. It was just so like dull and boring. It just wasn't like. I was waiting for the game to kind of break open it because it felt like the first, you know, hour, two, two and a half, three hours felt like it's just like almost like a really long tutorial stage. Um, and some puzzle games do this where they like give you one thing at a time and it gets kind of boring and then it eventually breaks out and then there's these really cool levels that kind of throw every single puzzle element all at you at once which is fun and exciting, and it, it yeah. just never did it. It just continued to get, like, just give you boring, dumb stuff. Ah, I missed. Probably going to win now. Stop, 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 like, stop, stop, It's the, actually is a little bit of a tough shot. Um, yeah, I just, I just thought it was really, like, it was boring. I just thought it was just a I, get, I think I gave it, like, five. Oh, I missed five, it! Five. Oh, you completely missed oh, I was trying to cut it so thin. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I guess that would lead into most disappointing, yeah, um, which yeah. I had I had Chariot in most disappointing. Not well because I already know what my worst game of all time yeah, would be. Yeah. Because yeah, for the same thing, it was there wasn't that much change in level design. They just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah. And, like and like ridiculously big, big, where it was bigger, like. like just so boring and it's like they had so many areas like oh you should check out that area you should check out that area you should check out that area but just pulling the dumb guy took forever just to walk yeah. him from point a to point b and then there was like every three seconds there would be those little holes where the bats would come out and like try to take your money and it's yeah. like you had to go so slow so it was like the biggest accomplishment in the world to just beat the level because it took you four hours and all you really did it wasn't like fun to do it from there to there it was just Really slow, really slow, pushing this pushing thing all the way down. And by the time you're done, you don't feel like you accomplished anything. You just feel like you're saying, like, thank God this stupid thing is it's, over. Yeah, you finished that. And the thing that could have saved that game, that would have at least made it tolerable, was to be able to play it online co-op. There's no fucking online co-op. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's the yep, simplest the It's the co-op. simplest fucking game in the world, and you can't even play it online with anyone. Oh, oh my God. Um, okay, so my next would be Thief. Ooh, that's a good one. I yeah, I see, I didn't about think, that one. I forgot about it too, and then I was going over the list of all the games, and I'm like, Thief. God, I wanted that to be good. I, I, I reviewed that. What did I give Thief? Um, not very high, but I don't think super bad. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. It was just the things they did... Like, the fact that you couldn't quick start a mission, you had to go find the mission. They didn't even tell you where the mission was. A mission you started, you had to go around this city um, to and find out how to start be... a mission. And everyone would be out to kill you that whole time. Oh, my God. Fuck. And, and, and it took forever to do anything. It was like, I okay, I want to go. Yeah, I want to go do this side mission. Okay, it's 57 city zones away. Even exactly. though it's right on the other side of this wall, you and need to... That was to... the thing that was crazy. It would literally be on the other side of the wall, but it just didn't want you to do that. So you'd have to, like, go through, all the way around, through this thing, around this thing. You'd just be like, oh, my gosh, can I just get there? It's through this window, but you won't let me go through this window. Yeah, you can't go through that window. you got to go through this other window, which is a loading zone, to go to this other window, which is a loading zone, Yep. to go to this other thing. And the whole game is... is told that he doesn't give a fuck about anyone but then every single mission is about him giving a fuck about everyone (laughs) yep you know he's a master thief all he wants to do is steal i don't care about anyone oh this this beggar guy 
got a hangnail, I need to go out of my way to save his life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I was like, oh. And, you know, and then with the, 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 I thought one of the worst things too, the city to me, the overworld city, although like the design of it, the way it looked and like it and felt shit. all gross and beat down, which is what, you know, they're going for. That part of it was yeah. good. But the, like the whole design as far as just the way you played it and everything was like, to me, one of the worst overworlds I think of ever, period. I think I even said that in review. I think it's the worst yeah. overworld I've ever Worst played world just, hub in the history of the yeah, universe. Yeah, it's just awful. And, and, and the one thing that's super freaking and retardedly annoying about it is that it's, um, um, it's, it's a game that is based on, um, you know, it's super you know, a base game is based on stealth, and just the flat stealth mechanics are okay. They're not awesome, but there's some fun stuff about it. There's some kind of weird stuff about it, but that's not even the that's biggest flaw of the game. And, you know, even like what you're saying about like trying to go all the way over here, and it takes 14 years to get there. The thing that I hated is that like the enemies would respawn back in that same place as soon as you went into a new loading. Yeah, as soon as you zone. left. As soon as you went into a house, or as soon as you. So you what you would do is you would use your fire arrow to or you would use a, a, a water arrow to burn out that fire. And then you would go over to this guy and you'd use this item on him. And you'd use this item. On, and then you'd go to the area you're going and then you'd come right back 10 seconds later and all those guys are there. And now you don't have any equipment because you used it all. And it yep. was like a dumb, dumb thing because it was good that it's the type of game. I like the type of games that are like, use your items wisely. Don't just go nuts with it. Um, but at the same time, it you know the uh, people would respawn four seconds later. So you just it's like an old school game, like a dumb old school game where it was like, oh, you only have two of these little bombs, you know, like an old NES game. But then the enemies come never ending. So if you got by that area and then you died and you came back and you don't have your bomb again, you're screwed. You know what I mean? It was that yeah, thing. Yeah, and, and going and all like, the way back. What do I do? To I'm stuck here with like nothing. Yep. So I would get killed so many times just trying to run past because that's the only option I had left. And I just die and die and die and die and die and finally get through. And by then I just want to like throw the freaking, you're talking rage inducing. That would be on my list maybe. Yeah. Again, and then, ugh, ugh. and then that, that's the exact same thing that goes on in Dragon Age too, to loop all the way back is that you'll go through this whole dungeon and then they're like, okay, here's a boss, but guess what? There's no health or any regenerative item. So now you're fighting the most difficult battle we can come up with and you have no way to prepare for it. Yep, yep. And that's and a, so, that's a flaw. That's a flaw that's so old. That's actually was in my in my Halo review, which um Halo Halo could almost be up for the sh for the shooter one too, but I figured I don't I don't I don't know. I, it could be on my nomination for the shooters. Um cuz it's good. But that's the um the thing like that's old school about it when you play halo one it's all it's an old game it's like 15 years old now it's like health packs and all that kind of stuff and there you're always getting stuck you just enter like a save zone but you have no health left so you're yeah. going against a bunch you. of bad yeah. guys that now you don't have any health and you're just trying you, you die and die and die and die and die and die and like randomly you finally get lucky enough to beat it like you get that's why that game was annoying me because it's like all right this is we're in the future now. This shouldn't be a problem. Be a problem. Yet you still have yeah. games like you're saying, like Dragon Age, that are brand new, that are having the type of problems that we've had for forever. And it's like, seriously, we can't move on from that kind of stuff? Yep. Um, and then my final one is going to be Destiny. Yep, I have um, that written down. Oh, my God. And, and Destiny for me is, is, when you say disappointing, it doesn't necessarily mean that the game has to be awful, awful, awful. It just means it's based on your expectation. So the expectation yeah. for me was really high for Destiny. It's the next Bungie game. They've been working on it for like four or five years. You know, they talked it up like crazy. And then it just turns out to be this uber repetitive. Like the, just the core game is fun. But then you end up doing the same thing over and over and over, yeah, like, and over again. And it's like they they just do these dumb things that like they're trying to make the game so much more epic than it really is. And you have this stupid traveler that's like we need your light guardian and he just sounds retarded like so much that game just pissed me off after yeah. you hear it a billion times you're like okay i just i won you can tell me the story now uh no exactly. no got it i don't have time to tell you the story there's already new threats coming uh blah 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 i don't have didn't time actually to write a I don't story have time to yeah oh my god 
you've been sleeping for a hundred years, a lot of stuff has happened. I could tell you about how children don't can't sleep at night. I could tell you about the many wars and battles. I could tell you, but I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not yeah, gonna tell I'm you. Not gonna that. Doing that. Meanwhile, I'm not gonna do meanwhile, I'm sitting up on my porch next to that little spinning weird thing, and like all day long, I'm there. You at any point you want to, you can go talk to the travel the, the speaker of the traveler. He's just sitting there waiting for you to talk, and he'll like sell you a new cloak or something. Yet he doesn't want to tell you it. Yeah, but I'm not gonna tell you why you're doing any of that. Yeah. Fucking ridiculous. Some people, when I like, I thought it would have been interesting, and maybe they still have opening for this. Some people wonder if maybe he's bad. I think that'd be cool if he would end up being bad. I don't think they're smart enough to create a story like that. No, I, mean, I don't think so. To me, this story is Halo. I mean, it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's still so much fucking worse. Halo. Halo actually has, like, it has central villains. It has, um. Plot twist that has like characters that that uh, used to be on one side and now they're on the other side. Like this is just like the most straight up bland, boring story. Like this is the bad guy, this is the good guy. Nothing interesting about it. We don't even know why we're fighting. You know, and they yep. did weird stuff. Like you look at the um the the hive one. They just look like they're supposed to be like a dumb, unintelligent, like you know, zombie like creature. Yet you do that one level where they're like. Oh, there's so much information here. They've broke, broken the barometer yeah, here, or whatever. The, yeah, the blue blood 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 blood. And you'll hear them say that 17 yeah. times because, of course, you do the same missions over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. But it's like, like I don't. You, can you explain why these why weird, weird, like zombie-like creatures suddenly are like geniuses? Because they sure don't look or feel like it. Like it. Yep. But yeah, that's that. That game's really high on my disappointment list because I had expectations that were pretty high, and it's not even like it like just fell a little bit short of it or you know if it, 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 it came down pretty far from what my expectations were like i was hoping for you know i didn't review it we ended up you ended up doing a 24-hour review and we never ended up doing a review yeah, before, a full one. Much time into that game but like i was hoping and thinking it would be like a nine level game and i think i'd probably end up giving it like you know oh a high six a high to seven type thing which again isn't like terrible because it had some really some fun really stuff fun. in it but it just ended up being kind of dull and repetitive and just weird. It's just weird yeah. game. It I mean, I just so I, I lost all respect for them when their whole thing was like, "This is a game you play however you want to play." Oh, but you played it this way. We're patching that out. Oh, you played it this way. We're yep. patching that out. Yep. Oh, you played yep. it this way, and it became like, "Oh, hey guys, hey guys, we got a lot of cool stuff coming." But okay. this patch, all we're doing is taking stuff away. But there's yeah, there's yeah. lots of fun stuff coming. But don't worry, we're, work, we're working on that really that thing that you guys are complaining about that's kind of broken. We're gonna fix that pretty soon, like on the next Dude. patch or maybe the one after that or after that. But in the meantime, here's a bunch of stuff that makes the game a lot worse. Have fun. Yeah, Have fun. yeah. Like like the biggest one for me, and I didn't even. I wanted to do the raid, and it it just it just pissed me off for so many reasons. But their patch that they said. Oh, 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 oh. Their patch that they said, oh, by the way, he was always supposed to um, teleport three random people, not the three farthest back. Even though it had been the three farthest back since the game came out, and that makes more sense. No, that was never how it was intended to be. And so no, we didn't mean for that to happen. Like, how on earth could that be a design mistake that instead of it being random people, it's the people that are in a certain vicinity of this area? Yeah. Like, whoops, we meant it to be random, but we didn't know how to design that right at first. Or, like, come on now. Yep. Not fooling anybody. And then, and then the new one comes out, which they said is even harder, and, like, immediately there's a guy who singles it, solos the whole thing. For the new yep. raid. Yep. I'm like, oh, what the... And it looks retarded. It looks like it's just... Like, they, they I just came up with it in, like, it, eight it, seconds. I, I did the raid. I beat it. I couldn't stand that, like, this thing that was supposed to be cool and exciting, and it just has, like, the same enemies. Again. Yep. It's like, oh, yep. here's this big boss. Everybody should be scared. It's a boss you've played, that, like, a uh, hundred times now. You know, like, this isn't, like, an exciting new boss. It's the same guy I've already played a bunch. He just has a different name. Why is that exciting? Or it would be... There's this one part which I it has the potential to be really cool. It's this stealthy area where, like, if he like sees you, everybody you, dies. Everybody so that, like, sounds pretty cool. Pretty cool. But yeah, it's the not Gorgon some thing. weird. Yeah, it's not yeah, some weird, not like, weird, gross like, gremlin thing. It's not some, like, like you know, really, like, a shadowy, like a shadowy creature, creature that's, like, you know, slithering in through the shadows. No, it's just 
a freaking harpy. It's a harpy. Yeah, the exact for some reason, and not and even reason, like recolor. No, yeah, he's oh, like yeah. for some reason this harpy has the ability to instantly look at you and kill you. For some, none of the other ones have ever been able to do that, but this one can. Like, like what the frick? Why couldn't you create a new thing that like like I said like a weird creepy gremlin guy or like or like a troll or like a shadowy creature? Look at this combo. Frick, is that like four? Yep. <laughs> Jeez, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, not, not even recolored, not even reskinned, not even anything. The exact same enemy, just completely different abilities for whatever reason. And then within it, the rest of them are called supplicants, which again is the harpy, exact same but different abilities. Yep, 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 yep. Just, yep, yep, yep. just dumb, dumb, dumb. Um, okay. All right, next category. We had biggest one that surprise. we haven't done yet. One that we haven't done yet too. Yeah, we could do biggest surprise. We also didn't we didn't do um download only game yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. Um, biggest surprise for me was probably Watch Dogs. Um, okay. I, I really thought that That's a good it looked pick. like it was going to be super basic and just kind of like, uh. And then there's 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 a lot of depth to it and a lot of side quests and mini games. And I just I had a lot of fun with that one. Besides yeah, the drinking like, game. Yeah, I think it wasn't, it wasn't like, um, uh, I, it wasn't, you know, this brand new game that like the part of it that disappointed me was like they talked up like crazy all of the the cool like the fact that it was you know you know the whole cell phone hacking all that kind of stuff and it really just ended up being like the same type of thing. nothing really special about that that you couldn't do in like 99 percent of other games of that same same type needless to say it was still a fun Nice open world game, and the first true open world game that we got next gen so far. So that's pretty cool too. But it had like yeah. a lot of really fun stuff to do. I yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, but that's the only one I had. Um, biggest surprise for me. Let me think. Um. I'd probably have two games that are kind of weird and typical, but to me, they upped their game up from before. I'd probably put Call of Duty in it, just because I, I had, like, no faith would, left in that franchise at all. Yep, exactly. I would say that. That was a surprise um, that it did Yeah, and then, I, and then I, for me anyway, I'm not sure about because you were talking about this earlier, too. I'd put then um, Madden in it for the same reason. I thought, like, Madden had just gotten really weird and, and, and repetitive and dumb, and then the changes that they had made in that last Madden were really substantial and so that was a big one for me but i put call of duty as my my bigger one I think. okay okay and um so download only um i have download only. child of light for the reasons we've already said yep and uh, for me. super time force yes i just had super, i was waiting so for you much fun with super that time one force. Into it. yeah i know you absolutely and, love that i loved a lot too that was an awesome game I thought it was really good and a lot of challenge. If you wanted it to be there, you could just play it. And it just, it's one of those games that was like, I'm not going to play that because it's just 8 bit graphics. But then when you get into it, it's not really anything like that. No, it's not. It's really, it was really. That one, yeah. yeah, and the yeah, gameplay, the the game, game, their ideas their themselves ideas are really themselves. exciting. I just like that developer. You know the game below that hasn't come out yet, but it's like a. Um, it's like a, a a cave a cave game where you go in and it's really really hard and you only have like one life. It's uh something that they showed at E3 a couple of years ago and then again this year. Hopefully it's gonna come out. But that developer just makes really cool stuff. It's oh, I can't believe I missed that. Let me see how close. Was well, that was that Cappy? Were they Cappy? Was that Cappy oh, Games? Was it Cappy Games? It might be. Yeah. Yeah. Might be Cappy Games. Yeah. We're not. Yeah, I'd have, we're, not I'd have, we're not. For big me, I have. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for me I'd have Child of Light, Super Time Force, Guacamelee. The and, only reason uh, I didn't put Guacamelee was because it was a re-release. Yeah, okay, that's understandable. That was the only reason I didn't do it because you could have already gotten it on 360 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I think I actually think it was the first time on on Xbox. Period. I think that was a. I think was it PlayStation? I might be wrong, but I think I think it was, it was a PlayStation exclusive at first. I know it was, I know it was. and then yeah. I don't know if the first time it ever touched an Xbox was then, 
or if it already was on Xbox 360 and then it came to us again after that on Xbox One. I don't know. Yeah. And then the other one I had, which is Valiant Hearts, because Valiant Hearts is down, download only. Yeah. Yeah. I accept that. <laughs> what other what other uh, topics? What other I categories think, do we have? Left? I think all we have left is game of the year. You had well, there's two mentioned here that I don't know if you wanted to do. You had the hidden gem one. Well, I did. Yeah, I mean, I don't really think you it's don't have enough for that. Thing that all I had was that I actually, and this was a downloadable game, super basic, but I really enjoyed Zombie Driver. And again, okay, this yeah. it was a re-release, um, but I had never played it before on the 360, and it was just it was just fun game. You know, yeah, it just yeah, it's yeah. basic. I mean, you're really just driving a car and shooting stuff from top down. Um, but you know, the story actually progressed together. Um, the the other modes were fun. It was just it was just a it was just fun. Yeah, you know, it was just yep. something that um, I could get into and. You didn't want to play it terribly long in a, you know at a time, um, yeah. But yeah, good. Did you have any games that didn't uh, quite qualify in a category, but you had fun playing? Um, we you mentioned that, and I had to think about it for a little bit. And I can't, I can't. I mean, I probably do. I'm trying to think if there was like weird little games that I had fun with. But I mean, for the most part, everything already fell into a category that we mentioned about or something like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. And um, then you had the other one. I don't know if you want to talk about this one too, but we ha- you had the the time consuming one, <laughs> like the most yeah time most time wasted on a game I didn't even really like, which would have been <laughs> the two we talked about, Destiny, that I just I wanted to like it, and you guys were playing it, but I mean literally it was just grinding. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Their whole thing was their whole tag was this game doesn't even really start to level twenty. Level twenty is when you start playing the same fucking level over and over, over, and, and, over, over and over again to yeah. try to get one little piece of loot and the fact that people that we get online and there'd be people hey let's go to the loot cave that's the most fun people had in destiny was shooting and at one fucking out. cave that's the most <laughs> fun they had that's the first thing they wanted to do when they signed into destiny i want to go to that loot cave and maybe get a legendary ingram that was going to come up to be some blue piece of shit when i took it to the tower yeah, and then and then they're like hey guys we fixed it now we made legendary ingrams no matter what they're always going to be legendary but then you like never saw it after that yep, before yep. they made that patch i probably had like, had like literally 50 legendary ingrams and i got like two out of it and yep. then after that i probably saw like five legendary ingrams six seven eight ten top and sure those were actually legendary legendary so that's pretty nice but like, but it, like just, it just, oh, that game's annoying. It just, it so quickly became that I'd log in, and it'd be like, okay, bam, we gotta go do this. We wanna do our daily you know, mission. Daily oh, mission. Tuesday. Tuesday. Let's do our weekly. Let's do our weekly, do our weekly, do our weekly um, strike thing. Let's All right, do we the got strike. That. We and need coins. Actually, actually, the fun part uh, about that was actually that. finding like good ways to like beat those levels and stuff like that. And that became got, fun for like a month, you know, yeah. as far as like doing. And then once we realized, oh, remember we did this is now we're already repeating because there's only like five strikes, and we're like, all right, never mind, this isn't fun anymore. <laughs> yep. And it, yeah. And the other one is the golf game. Is we put a lot of time into that. <laughs> and especially I, me when I tried to beat it. beat it. Yeah. And then I found the super easy way to do it. You just that was. <laughs> I literally I like looked at the time. I was like I had I did the math. I figured out how much. I was like it was like three o'clock, like four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. I've been playing since like ten o'clock. And I'm looking at it, I'm like oh, I've got like one more hours to go of this. Do I want to stay up all night, or do I want to go to sleep and then, like, hope nobody beats it? And then I get, like, a text from you that's like, there's a super easy way that you can beat it. Hurry up. And I'm like, oh, my God. I wasted Yeah, I'm like, ah. Yeah, it's like, because of flaws in the game. It wasn't even, it was super easy because of how stupid the game was. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, number one and number two to finish it. So, I mean, that was, like, literally the only reason to keep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how did that not go in? <laughs> All right, so what's, um, is that it for topics except for the last one that we were talking about? Just game well, of the year? Uh, game of the year? Yeah, game of the year and most anticipated um, Okay, for yeah. Next year. Which one do you want to talk about first? Uh, well, let's finish out this year. So let's go game of the okay. year. Okay. Because all actually right. be quick because we've already talked about all the games. Yeah, good point. Um, good point. So I picked four um, that I thought were the best. 
my four are Titanfall, yeah. um, Far Cry 4, Rise, and Sunset Overdrive. Titanfall, I'm writing these down too. Far Cry, Rise, and what was the last one? Sunset Overdrive. Sunset, okay. And I mean, I wish you had pl- you played Car- Far Cry 4, because I can't even talk about the things that make it <laughs> most awesome without talking about spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> I just, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play it. And I, I will, we'll I will. Like, you, we can do a total spoilerific podcast yeah. type thingy, whatever you want to do. We can do, like, those weird co-op missions or whatever while we're doing it, and then we'll talk yeah. about the game. That'll be, like, two weeks from now, once I'm into it. I would have, um... I would add, for me, I really want to add um, uh, Child of Light to that. Yep. That's one a huge high one for me. And then, let me think for a second. I wrote it down, but I'm trying to find, find out where I had it. What? Uh. Yeah, you know, I think that's I think that's fair because I because like I'd have Titanfall in there. I really enjoyed that. Um, I'm pretty positive. I'm going to like Far Cry, but I feel comfortable with those because I know that like Titanfall and Child of Light would pretty much beat. Yeah, I could like nominate another game, but it really wouldn't yeah. matter because those ones wouldn't be as good anyway. You know? Yeah, for you. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, and then. I won't add it just because this is going to be all Xbox, but I would have, for, for me, I would have Smash Bros. in there for a nominee for mine. Ooh. But since it's Xbox only, I won't put it in. I know, I know, I know. That's right. I really think, I really think even though you, you're not the biggest oh, fan, I feel whore. like if it was an Xbox game, I think you we would we, we probably would have got it at some point. You would have tried it out or something. And I really yeah, think we, you would like yeah. it a lot. It's, it's, I've it's played Smash really, Bros. Really fun game. What? I've played, you know, old school Nintendo Smash Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Impressed. Okay, most anticipated game of the year. Mine's straight up easy. I have one that I absolutely want to play right now, and that probably my excitement is going to ruin the game for me. Like that's when that happens. Yeah. But yeah. Rise of the Tomb Raider. I mean, Tomb Raider, just fucking awesome game. Love Tomb yeah. Raider. Yeah. Yeah. Tomb Raider was so good. It really was. Multiplayer, total trash in that game. Total trash. But just beyond track, beyond I still have one more track. achievement to go, and I've been just I've been like you going into my own room and playing by myself and getting points really fast, but it still takes forever. And I just yeah. I was like at a point where I was watching podcasts at the same time, or I was watching a movie on like on like anything I could do in the meantime. And I still after a while I haven't done it in a while now, but eventually I'll get back into it. But like oh, the multiplayer is so bad, but the single player is just. Oh, it really is, it really, is really, 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 really good. Like I can't yeah. get over how good that game is. The the story's kind of weird kinda and floopy, weird. but just the flow of it, the uh, the the progression, the getting further, the way that the, that the game itself kind of starts off really, you know, not you know, kind of just like you have an arrow and and you're just surviving and you can't really do much to like really awesome set pieces where you're like, you know, on a freaking ski lift thingy on going down a giant mountain while everything's blowing up left and right. It's just, it, it builds and builds and builds and builds and builds. And, and I just yeah. like it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. But yeah, Tomb Raider would be on mine, I think, for sure. Batman would be on mine. Yeah, I didn't even th- I didn't think about Batman. If it actually comes out. Yeah, I hope it does. I absolutely love the, like, the, 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 the other one, the other company did the other Arkham game. Double Arkham fucker. In it. <laughs> That's funny. They did um Ark and Origins, and it was, I mean, it was okay, but it really wasn't anything. It was just, oh, well, like the same way that, um, you know, Treyarch or something would make a call of duty oh, between God. Infinity War, that type of thing. Yeah. Um, um, but when it was just Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, those are. It's hard for me to like say which one's better because they're so good in different ways. Ooh, did I make that? Ah, yes, I did. Um, like they're just really, really good really, really games good. to me. Ooh, I was hoping that that would work in the next day. Son of a whore. Okay, that's not even what I was going for, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> and in the side the pocket, heck? no less. It was weird how I rolled in. 
That's <laughs> bullshit roll. It's, it comes it's like, ah, let me just go in there. Let me just, uh, it's like a little magnet inside of it. But like, I uh, almost consider the two Arkham games like one game. Because when they when there's two games that are so similar like that, it's hard to like even you know split between the two. But if they were one game, just Arkham City slash Arkham Asylum, that would be my top ten game, like ever. That would be my top ten list. They are just so freaking good, and I'm a huge Batman fan. And they you couldn't do Batman better than those games did. And I'm super pumped for the next Batman. And then the other one for me would be um The Witcher. I'm really excited for that game. It just looks so huge, so ambitious so freaking awesome i'm really 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 pumped for that game i really I, I can't wait for that and then on the yeah. nintendo front i'm excited for zelda but we won't get a, we won't get into that <laughs> what the hell what happened i hit a ball in did you, did you hit something else first i must have yeah we could do a whole nother podcast about um batman oh batman so good batman Oh, about what you put the stuff you don't like about it. Yeah. But do you like? Um, I mean, I know you. I know you aren't a big fan of. Like you said, we can do a whole other podcast for this. I know you're not. You didn't like the movies that much. But did you? Do you like? Are you saying like Batman in general, or did just not the movies? Or, or no, the movies. And you know what? I've, Gotham has actually grown on me. Yeah, I like it. I like because it. I like it better than I used to. The the beginning was stupid. Um, whatever the chick. She's horrible. I hate her guts. Oh, I know. The, oh, the oh, little girl. Oh, no, her I hate too. Okay, okay, okay. I hate all yeah, the ladies. Know, yeah, um, yeah, they're really bad, all of them are. And the weird, weird bug-eyed girl. Bad. Yeah, yeah, who's supposed to be Catwoman. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, yeah. Just... And I hated Bruce, but he's gotten a lot better. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it's gotten more kind of police crime than stuff and stupid stuff they're still yeah, like yeah. they're still like so fucking oh we need to tell you who this person's gonna be but we're not gonna tell you but i still want to tell you like uh he's telling a riddle that guy's telling a riddle there did you get that did you get the riddles that he's telling well, you i mean everybody everybody knows that that's <laughs> that that's the riddler like i don't think they're i know but it's just it. it's just like he's he's telling another riddle over there what do you think <laughs> that means <laughs> stupid so stupid Ah, uh, this guy. This guy walks like a penguin. What do you, who do you think he's gonna be? Well, they call him penguin, so you better know. I know, I know. I'm just saying. It's... Yeah, you hit the wrong ball. What the, the fuck one. am I doing? Yeah. I don't know. You're 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 making fun of Batman too much, and it's, yeah. it's not. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love. I, I I still I still pick up the comic books every once in a while because they're still good. But I mean, it's just the things they've done. Yeah. But okay, so there you go. There's nominations, and we'll come back with we'll discuss further winners. Yep, and have winners, and then we have some other stuff. We're gonna try to for about the ninety millionth time get back on a uh, schedule. Yeah, we'll definitely get on a schedule. Oh, uh, perfect. You're gonna win it now, so I guess you're gonna win it. Perfect. Dumb way to end. This is the awful way to end. And Stupid. as with every sport in the history of the world, the final one is the only one that matters. <laughs> Victory. What about hilarious if you lost here? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.